Hey besties, it is the day after the Harry show and I am feeling a lot of feelings. Um, I've been a fan of Harry for about 10 years now. I think I became a fan of One Direction in like 2011. That's just an estimate, but I think it was around 2011. Um, I know it wasn't during their X Factor days, but it was also after Up All Night came out, but it was before Take Me Home, so I think it was 2011. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, and I've just been, like, watching this man, like, grow. The last time I saw him was 2015, when he was still in One Direction, uh, in Columbus, Ohio. and. I never got to see him solo because he just, he fucking hates Pittsburgh apparently. Um, and also anytime that he would go on tour and be even remotely close to me, I could not afford it because I was still in college. Um, but luckily this time I was able to get a ticket to see him live thanks to my graduation money from college. Um, so that's cool. I paid about $170 for my seat. Um, it was resale, but it that's honestly a good price for a resale ticket for Harry because I know people that paid a lot more money for like nosebleeds. So yeah, 170 It might sound crazy to some of you, but for Harry, that's actually like a pretty decent price seeing that people paid thousands of dollars for pit tickets um so there's that so let's just talk about some of the highlights of the show the minute that this man stepped on stage during golden i just felt my heart drop into my chest as sappy as it sounds i could not believe that i was in the same room as him after waiting six fucking years and I was just like overcome with like all these emotions but in that moment it was mainly happiness um, but we'll get to those other emotions later because there were a lot of emotions <laughs> this night um, so Golden Plays, you know, we're dancing, we're having a good time, time, and by we, I mean me, because I technically went alone. So I'm dancing, you know, I'm screaming, I'm being an annoying ass little fangirl. Uh, the world was healing, if we're being, being honest. Um, so Golden Plays, everything's fine and dandy. And, you know, the songs keep going on and on. Um... And then he gets to Fine Line. One of his saddest songs, not his saddest though, uh, we'll get to that next. But Fine Line plays, and I instantly just start fucking crying. Um, I'm honestly surprised that I made it that far without crying. Like, okay, I teared up during Falling, but I was like full on crying during Fine Line. Um, Especially when he starts doing the part that's like, we'll be alright, that part. Dude, I was a fucking mess. And the person in front of me actually turns around and sees me crying. And she's just like, are you okay? Like, do you need a hug? And I'm just like crying and like nod my head. And she gives me a hug and she's just like, we're friends now. Like, you're so beautiful. And that just made me cry even more. Um, did not know this girl. She just saw me crying and turned around and decided to comfort me, which was super nice. But she was not ready for what happened next, and neither was I. Um, so I have some beef with Harry, okay. Um, he decided it would be okay to put Fine Line and Sign of the Times back to back on the set list. Um, so you know, just got done crying because of fine line I'm still kind of like pulling myself together he went to go off the stage for a second and then he comes back 
and Sign of the Time starts playing. Um, so for those of you that may not know, and I feel like if you are subscribed to this channel, you would know this, but just as a refresher, um, in 2017, my mom passed away. My mom was a huge fan of Harry. Like, when we went to see One Direction, she was the person that took me. And Harry was always her favorite. She loved him. And she was so excited when Sign of the Times came out. It, like, instantly became our song. Anytime that it would come on the radio, we would be, like, screaming it at the top of our lungs, we'd be, like, dancing, like, we would just be going all out. And that song held and still does hold so much meaning to me. Just finally being able to hear it last night live, I absolutely broke down. It's... Okay, Harry does not know that exists, like, in any way, shape, or form, and probably never will if we're being completely honest, but in a way, it felt like the lyrics in that song last night were just everything that my mom wanted to say to me from, like, the other side, I guess. Like, the whole just stop your crying, it's a sign of the times, and remember everything will be alright, like, all that, it felt like she was speaking to me through Harry, and I know that that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it just really got to me last night, and I was an absolute wreck. <laughs> I made the wonderful decision of wearing fake eyelashes last night, which is not something that I do often. Um, and I ended up crying so much that they fell off my face. Just finally being able to hear Sign of the Times after waiting four years meant a lot to me. And Harry's not going to see this video. Again, he doesn't know that I exist, but Harry has helped me in more ways than he knows. And if I ever met him, all I would want to say is just, I just want to thank him. Like, not only did he help me through, like, high school, which was some of the toughest years of my life like I was so depressed in high school I didn't feel like I fit in with anybody I was extremely suicidal like I did not want to be alive I felt like nobody liked me and One Direction was like my escape almost but he also helped me with his solo music and the short time that my mom was alive while he was starting his solo career, we bonded over that and we just loved everything that he did. And when she finally did pass away, Harry was there for me in a sense. Like, not physically, but his music was there. If it was not for Harry Styles, I would not be here. And I know I've said that about another certain someone on this channel before, but that man was a piece of shit. And I feel like Harry is genuinely a good person. At least I would like to hope so. I think that's everything I wanted to say about that. Um, sorry this got so dark. <laughs> um, yeah. If you have the opportunity to go to the Love On Tour, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Again, if you have the chance to go to this tour, do it. 
even if you're not a huge fan of Harry, like, even if you only know a few songs by him, I still highly recommend it, even if you get nosebleeds. It's so worth it. It's such a good show. Um, and I'm really glad that I finally got to see him after waiting six years. Um, hopefully I don't have to wait another six years to see him again, because I mentally cannot handle that. I need to see him, like, next year would be great, and I kind of think that he's going to be releasing an album soon, so we'll see. But, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully this video does not get copyrighted because I'm really scared that it's going to, and I don't want my channel getting suspended, so I guess we'll see what happens, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.